Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Laura Bain. Welcome to Animal Class. I'm Laura Bain, and I'm here with Lacey of Little Ray's Nature Center, and we've got some enthusiastic animals you can hear in the background. Uh, but Lacey, you've got someone here for us, and who is this? This is Artie the Armadillo. Okay, and he's really cute, but not like anything I've ever seen before. What kind of animal is an armadillo? An armadillo, um, some of their most closely uh, related relatives are actually sloths, aardvarks, and anteaters. Yeah, to me, he kind of looks like a turtle. Is it a shell that he has on his back? Absolutely is a shell that he has on his back. So it's a domed shell that allows a lot of protection for him because besides being hard and uh, kind of solid there on the top, he doesn't have a whole bunch for protection. He doesn't have long claws. Uh, for scratching or big teeth for biting. He's very much reliant on that heavy duty shell that he has. Can I touch his shell to Absolutely, feel what he feels Absolutely, please. Like? You'll feel that it's quite textured and that shell is actually made of keratin. So the same stuff, your right. hair and nails, turtle shells, things like that. And the way the pattern on his shell works, it looks like a whole bunch of little tiny flowers. It does feel, well, first of all, like it's very ridged, but, and hard, like you say, like a yeah, hard. Absolutely thing. hard, yeah. But also, it's got little tiny hairs on it, I can feel. Absolutely, yeah. Um, kind of like the hairs on Grandpa's bald head, so we kind of very sparse, but they are there. <laughs> that is actually, I think, what it reminds me of is someone who's bald and just has a little, little bit of tiny bit buzz. of hair kicking around. And he's sort of hiding a little bit in his shell right now, but what does his face look like? What are his arms and legs like? Well, his face is, uh, it's armored as well. So he does have a plate of, uh, of the same material that the shell is on the middle of his forehead that runs all the way down to his nose. Uh, and when he needs to, when he feels the need, he can actually completely curl up in a ball. Um, and there's a special spot for his tail and one for his head. And he's like a little transformer. Okay, that's really neat. So what color are armadillos? Artie here is kind of a tan color. How big would you say he is? Like he's when smaller he, than a soccer ball. Yeah, when he curls up, I'd say he's the size of about a small uh, bowling ball. Okay, yeah, bowling ball, that's a good description. Somewhere between a really large Honeycrisp apple and a small cantaloupe. Um, so what part of the world do you find armadillos in? Well, it depends on the armadillo, but this particular armadillo, the three-banded armadillo, is found in uh, uh, the northern parts of South America, and they hang out in a lot of rainforests. And what do they eat? They are insectivores. So in the wild, they do a lot of digging. Their front feet have long claws for digging, but they're not very sharp. So he'll actually dig a lot and, uh, and eat his insects that way. Any other neat facts about armadillos? The most commonly known armadillo out there is probably the nine-banded armadillo. Mm. Those guys are the ones you find in southern, the southern US, uh, and they are actually well known for carrying the bacteria that produces leprosy. Okay, so maybe if you see one of those in the wild, stay away from it. Don't lick wild animals, it's generally <laughs> a good rule. <laughs> All right, um, well thanks so much Lacey for, uh, for introducing me to Artie. No problem, Artie likes making new friends. <laughs> 